I am a five foot one petite female. I was about 19 or 20 years old at the time, in my last year of undergrad and living in the city by myself. That's really all you need to know. I was coming home from a party one night, from an almost sketchy part of town. A part of the city where the nice part starts to meet the seedy part. It was almost 2am, but the streets were relatively quiet, and there weren't a lot of people out. It was a weekday, so the massive bar exodus wasn't happening. Save for a few homeless guys hanging out in the subway stop. On this particular night, I was walking with one of my girlfriends who lived on a street a few blocks away. We walked briskly, but quietly. We were tired, but hadn't really been drinking a lot, thankfully. So together, we walked through the seedy part towards the nicer, safer streets, and nothing creepy happened. We made it to the safer, well-lit area where we lived, said our goodbyes, and I kept going on the same street towards home. But it doesn't end there. I was coming up to a large intersection where a pretty famous concert hall is located. There was a car waiting at the light when it turned green. It was a rusty, maroon, crappy, boik-type car. Crossing streets had become second nature to me, so instead of making the rusty car wait for me to cross, I simply just walked around the back of the car and kept going. Being a girl in a city, sensing red flags, had also become second nature to me. The car didn't immediately go when the light turned green. I ignored it and figured the person was texting, or lazy and kept going on my way. But something didn't feel right. Then, I heard a metal to cement scraping sound. What? I turned to see the car taking a sharp corner. The side of it scraping against the sidewalk. Weird. But the car was turning away from me, so I continued on my way. I was walking under the bright lights of the concert hall's overhang when I heard a car engine. Turns out, the car was cutting it so close to the curb so that it could make a U-turn and follow me. No other cars. No other pedestrians. Just rusty maroon car with tinted windows. All nearby stores were closed and I felt exposed under the lights and wide sidewalk. I took out my cell and called my ex-boyfriend. We had just broken up, but he lived in the apartment below me. Because we had just broken up, he probably looked at the caller ID and ignored it. Hey, it's me. I think I'm being followed. I'm almost home. But please, if you get this, meet me outside. The car made it clear that it was following me, driving alongside me. I was walking on the left side of the road and rusty car was on the right, so at least there was a lane of traffic in between us. My street was in sight. I quickened my pace. The car sped up too. It drove slightly past the corner into the street that a lot of students live on. But my street broke off to the left. The tail lights turned off. The driver's door popped open. I didn't wait around to see who got out. I sprinted and cut a quick left and then a right onto my street. After fumbling with the keys to get in the front door, 
I sprinted up to my apartment, closed the door, deadbolted it, chain locked it, fell on the floor and hyperventilated. Person in the rusty, gross maroon boik type car, stay the hell away from me. Hello everyone, Sinister Shaf here. This story was Rusty Maroon Boik Type Car by Clarinet Slayer 13. Thank you for letting me narrate your story. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Also, if you can, please share my video with your friends. Thank you for watching. And, as always, stay sinister.